Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see an important question in BST. So basically we are given a BST here. We need to convert this BST into sorted doubly linked list, right? It means we need to convert this BST to sorted doubly linked list. Now what is sorted doubly linked list? So first of all, what is doubly linked list? Doubly linked list means where each node has two pointers. One pointer is a previous pointer and one pointer is a next pointer. And similarly, now it should be sorted. Sorted means the all the elements should be in sorted manner. Now the point is that if you are converting the BST to sorted double linked list, it means the element should be same, right? Because obviously whatever element we have, we need to convert the same. Now how would you convert, right? Because for double linked list, we need two pointers. One pointer should be previous and one pointer should be next, right? Because this is how it happens that one pointer is next and one pointer is previous. So if you see the overall, this is my BST and after converting this to sorted doubly linked list, it should be converted something like this, that first of all we will have 2, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 15, then 20, right? Because here we have 6 element and here also we have 6 element. So this is my sorted doubly linked list where we have next pointers and where we have previous element as well, previous pointers as well, right? Now because uh, here we need, here we have next here we have next pointer and here we have previous pointer as well. But in BST, we have the left pointer and right pointer, right? So how would you represent? So what we can do, we can represent the uh, left pointer as previous pointer, left pointer as previous pointer, and then we can point the right pointer as next pointer, right? So similarly, if you see that for six, for six, we have two pointers. One is left and one is right. So the, if you see for 6, for this 8, for this 8, then for the previous pointer. So basically this is, you say, this is basically the left pointer and this is right pointer, right? Similarly for this uh, 6, for this 6, you can say that this is right pointer and this is previous pointer, right? Because if you are converting from BST to doubly linked list, then obviously we have to convert these pointers, right? So here also we have two pointers, each node has two pointers, right? For eight, this is left pointer, right pointer. So same thing we'll do. We'll basically represent this uh, left pointer as previous pointer and right pointer as next pointer for a particular node, right? Now let's see that how we can solve this question. So there is very important point that we need to convert this BST into sorted doubly linked list. And from a BST, how we can get the sorted elements? we can get the sorted elements if you are doing in order thing, right? So let's say if you solve this, if you traverse this BST in in order manner, then you can get the, then you can get the sorted elements, right? So it means that is for sure that we need to traverse the element, we need to traverse the BST in in order manner. Now, whenever we are doing traverser, we need to basically, we need to, we need to have the pointers as well. We need to manage the pointers as well. That's what we need to do when we are solving this question. Right. So what we will do, uh, we'll take two, we'll take some variables. One variable will be head of list. So it will be head of list. So what we will do that we know that head of the list will always be this pointer whenever we are hitting the first time. Right. So this pointer, so what we will do that whenever we will hit this time, so we'll assign this value as a, we'll assign this value as a head list. Right. So what we can do at the starting, this head list is also null and previous previous pointer we are also taking. So previous will assign to the previous value. Right. So it means this is one variable and this is another variable. Now let's say, uh, let's say my function name is convert. So here my function name is convert and here I am passing the node, which is BST. Right. So here we are saying that if node equals to null, if node equals to null, then return because that's what we do in pre order in, in order. Right. So this is just an in order function. So now here we have this another. So now we are calling convert and here I am calling the left, right? And then here I'm calling the right. Here I'm calling the right function, right? So that's what you do here that in, in order, uh, this is if not equals to null, then you return, then you go to left side, then you go to right side. And in between we need to do something, right? So what we can do? we can say that if previous, if previous equals to null, 
so what we are what we will do that for each moment we will basically update the previous values so for the first value previous will be null right so we are saying if previous will be null then head of list will be head list will be the given node head list will be the given node and if it is done if it is not the case so what we need to do we need to basically change the pointer so what we can do then basically for a particular node for a particular node the node of left the node of left will assign to the previous this will be previous right and previous dot right previous dot right it will be assigned to the node so if previous is null it means this will hit the first node like this one so it will be my head of list so that is why we are assigning head of list equal to node and this thing will come in else right in else it will come node of left equal to previous so what we are saying that for every node for every node we need to assign two values we need to assign the previous value and the next value so because the previous value we are saying the previous value is the left and next value is right so that is why we are saying that for a particular node the previous value will be the node of left dot previous and next value will be the previous dot right so at the moment we are also assigning the previous dot right means the next of previous should be the current node right and once we have done this part so once we have done this part then it comes that every time we are also updating the previous equals to node right it means this part is very important this part is what we are doing in between this is my basic in order manner this is the in order function this is again in order because we are going left then we are going right but in between we are doing this one right so let's see overall that how it is happening when we are solving the complete question so let me start from here so i will say at the starting my previous is uh, null and my head of list also null right so we'll start from here this is my root node then i'll go to left because here uh, this is because here if you see convert again recursively it is going left again it is going left here we have two again then we have null and here we have null so when it will go in here in null then it, it is returning so it is returning it means now it is returning it means now we are reaching here so in this case if you see now it is checking if previous equals to null right so yes previous is null it means head of list will, will assign to current node my current node is 2 it means my head of list will assign to 2 right now now head of list assigned to 2 now this this will not go in else now it will do previous equals to node so previous equal to node means previous will be 2 now okay now i will go to convert node of right so node of right is null so in this case again this will hit node of null equal to return so it will return so again it means both it so again it will return so when it will return it means that 2 has returned to 6 so now my node is 6 right so let me also write here so that you get to know so earlier my node was 2 now my node is 6 so now my node is 6 and the previous is 2 so it means now previous is not null so it will go into else right so it will say the node of left should be previous the node of so node is 6 so node of left should be previous so it means you see this one 6 so node of left is uh, node of left is previous right and previous of right previous of right should be node right so you could say this one because this my previous is 2 so it means previous of right so it is just kind of previous of next so previous of next should be current node right and then i will update my previous so my previous will be node so my previous will be 6 now now i'll go to right side so it will go it will go right side then again it will go left side and left side it is null it will return so when it will return it means my current node will be this 7 so my node will be 7 right then again it will do the same thing node of left should be previous so node of left means 7 so 7 of left 7 of previous should be this previous so, so you can say 7 of left means 7 of left this left should be previous and previous of right so previous is 6 so previous of right this previous of right should be 7 right so that's what we have done so after doing this one then it will do this process previous equals to node so previous is previous equal to node it means 7 so previous will be 7 right and then it will go convert node of right so node of right is this this one null so this is null so when it will say node equal to null it will return so it will return so it means again this will return so this will return now now for 8 the 6 has written this one it means we are done so it means my node is 8 now and my previous is 7 so it will go here in else because previous is uh, not null so it will say node of left equal to previous it means this this is node so node of left should be previous 
so this is node so node of left this should be previous which is 7 and previous of right this one this should be node right so this is what we have done after that it will update node previous equal to node so previous equal to node means 8 right and then it will go node of right so node of right means here 15 then recursively it will go to left but left is null so it will return and then it means my node is 15 my node is 15 so it will do the same thing that node of left should previous so it means node of left 15 15th of left should be previous is 8 and 8 of right should be 15 so we can say 8 of right is 15 now it will update the value previous or equal to node so previous equal to node means previous will be 15 now right and then it will go node, node of right so it means we were here so it will go here so first of all it will go to left so it, this will null so it will return again so now we are here so what is my node my node is 20 right my node is 20 so it will say node of left should be previous so node of left so it means this is not so node of left should be previous previous is 15 this is done and previous of right so it means 15 of right should be 20 so this is also done right so it means we have also completed this one after that it will go here but this is null so it will return so it means we are also done this so it will return it will return and we are done all the nodes right so at the last if you see this is how we have converted the complete sorted linked list so we have converted bst into sorted w linked list right so the basic concept was that because it was sorted we need to we need to return the sorted so that is why we implemented using the in order so if you see this is an order function and in between we did some of the implementation so what we did if you see this this is a very important point these two points node of left equal to previous and previous of right equal to not so that is why we basically we basically change the pointers right and at the last if you want to print the list we can print the list using this head list because head list is still pointing to this first node if you see head list is still pointing to the first node right so this is how we are doing now let me show you the code as well though it is exactly same but let me show you again how it is happening so this is how i have created my link uh, my bst and now i'm calling the function a dot bst to w link list when i'm passing the root node so here if you see if node equals to null then return now here i'm calling the left side and here i'm going to the right side now in between we are doing the important part so what we are doing if previous equals to null then head link list equal to node to node so this is how i have initialized the two variables head link list and previous node right else node of left should be previous and previous of right should be node and every time assign previous equal to node right so after doing this one what will happen then in head of link list we will have the value so if you want to print the value if you want to print the list we can go here that node equal to head of link list and until node is not null keep on printing the values and because our next was right so that is how we are going we are keep on going node equals to node of right right so this is how we can convert bst to doubly link list now if you talk about the time complexity that we did so what we did we basically implemented using in order right we we converted we traverse the all the nodes so if there are n elements in the bst my time complexity will be big of n why big of n because i need to traverse or i need to operate on n elements and nodes if i want to solve this question so that is why it will be big of n and space complexity because as such i didn't use any extra space it's just that i use the recursive because this is a recursion right so recursion internally uses the stack to implement this one but if we ignore this one so we haven't used any extra array or, or anything else so we just use some variables so it was constant variable so it will be big of one right so that was my time complexity and space complexity so that's it to solve this question and if you have any doubts please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and uh, i will also post the source code into the description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you